This is the place that my wife and I are building. This is called the Explore Zone. And it, I'm, I'm coming from here because I want to build a positive workplace culture. What do I do? You might be asking, who are you? I am Jeff Banks, and I help small businesses and uh, nonprofits strengthen leadership, lower employee turnover, and deepen or increase customer satisfaction and loyalty. So, which is ultimately just boosting your bottom line by helping with all these areas. And I do this through a four-step process. And the process is to create or build a positive workplace culture. And once, those, once that culture is in place, you'll notice that the results are this. Strengthened leadership. Uh, lower employee turnover because they can communicate to each other and with you and to the customer. And if they're communicating with the customer the proper way, customer experiences are from end to end. It's just a wonderful experience and they'll come back every time. Even if you raise your prices, they'll come back. Even if management changes because the culture is in place, boom. It's always going to be the same. They're always going to come back because they're not there for the prices. They're there for the experience and you provide that experience through your culture. So, uh, the first step of the process, first step, step number one, is communicating the vision. You can't, I, I wouldn't recommend doing any other part of this until the vision was clear. Communicate the vision. Uh, the vision will guide the company. The vision will guide their actions and their decisions. I'm big on the vision now. If the vision, if they believe in the vision, it's going to help you or help them to grow. It's going to help you grow your business because the vision is really just encompassing everything that they do. And anything that you focus on, when you focus on it, it starts to get bigger and it gets better. The vision guides your decision. And what I mean by this, you can bump up anything that you do or do I need to do this? Do I need to purchase this? Well, you can look at the vision. It says, the vision says, okay, you want to have the greatest place for kids to play. So do I buy the little cheap stuff or do I just invest all my money and try to get that big thing, that one big thing and get that going and then buy the next big thing and get that going or do I just go cheap? So your vision will say, you need to purchase this. This is what's going to help you grow your business. Now, if you try to teach your vision, you're just going to, if you don't learn the lesson, you're going to have to repeat it. Your vision is teaching you lessons. If you don't learn them, you're going to have to repeat it. And then sometimes that's a hard pill to swallow. So, take into consideration what the vision is trying to get you to do. And the only way you can understand the vision, it has to be communicated on all levels. It has to be communicated from the leadership. The vision has to be communicated through the employees to each other and to the customer. The customer has to understand the vision because they'll be like, what are you doing? Why are you here? What are you doing? Communicate that why. Your vision is your why. So. As Simon Sinek says, start with the why. That's the step, first step to the whole process. Okay? And there's various parts to communicating your vision. You have to develop it first if you don't have one. But it'll be like uh, the lighthouse that sits on top of the hill in the foggy, you know. We kind of do life in the dark. Whatever life throws at us, it's just like, whatever, okay, whatever, I, I take it, whatever. And your vision is that light that says, hey, you're going this way. You can't see where you're going. You're going to be going this way where success is calling you from over here. So, step one, 
communicate the vision. And before I stop it, the stronger you are on each level, the well, the, the clearer you are on, on your vision, the clearer you can communicate that vision, the clearer you can communicate on all levels of this four-step process, the stronger your company will be in achieving the vision and the goal and the mission. Anything that your goal is for is going to crush it. So keep that, keep looking. Keep your vision intact. Keep your vision before you. Follow it. Follow the plan. Follow where it guides. And much success will come to you.